to get delivered. Matter of fact, if you deliver, if you deliver the dope dealer before you get the addicts, the addicts will come. Why? Because there's no more dope. Come on. Wow. There's no more source. Good. Let's have vision of seeing our children come. And when your kids come, I yes, I know you're going to be so happy. You're going to be crying then. So at that time, won't you cry in your seats and let yeah. God keep dealing with yeah, them? Yeah, that's good. That's right. we, 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 we have to be wise. Mm -hmm. Too many people have come to our church and have not come back. And it's because we was not ready to let God deal with them. That's right. We, we, we're getting too much in God's business. We got a vision for a ministry. When we, people walk in and it seems like, ooh, I'm, oh, I wouldn't deal with them. Good. You know what it is? You stay in your seat then. <laughs> somebody, God will have somebody to go deal with them. If it has to be me, it'll be me. But then eventually God's going to send other servants that, look, first of all, no one is unapproachable. Yeah. That's good. Everyone needs to feel the love of God at our ministry. That's right. Everyone needs to know that this is a place, a safe place, where they come and can be free to be free. Some places want you to be free to an extent. We want you to be free all the way because some people have to literally unwrap their lives to wrap it again, wrap it right, to, to put it back in an order so it can be in order. So God will get the glory. Mm -hmm. That's good. As we will not sit in the seat of judgment. Now, we, can, we, we, we have no judgment for strangers. It's them people that you used to know. And you heard that they ain't changed. Here they walk into church. And because we're going to get delivered from this hmm, demon. Hey man, pastor. Come on. Girl, I had, oh, I had a great time. Mm. Look who just walked in the chair. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a little mad. We're going to let that devil stay or uh, leave or uh, go get a new residence. That's good. That, that's not coming. Because remember, somebody could look at you and go, hmm. Yeah. And it don't have to be at the church. It could be at the bank. You talking so When you need long. a loan. You talking hmm. right. It could be at the real yourself. estate when you need a house. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It could be at a car dealer when you need a ride. Hmm. See, you don't want that hmm demon because you reap what you sow. Sometimes you just don't sow it from the same field. Man, you understand? Listen. Ooh. <laughs> Please, don't beat yourself in your progress because we have that. We're getting rid of that. What demon saints can anybody say? Can we get rid of that what? Hmm. Hmm. That, hmm. Yeah, we getting rid of that. <laughs> Definitely getting rid of that. And, I, and I, I talk to people, and I talk to people, and I go, and I hear them go home. I say, so what's that home for? Oh, nothing. Lying. Lying. Lies. Amen. Lies. That home is almost a whole book. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Pastor. Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, chapter uh, 2, verses 1 through 4. And the Bible says, I will stand upon my watch and uh -huh. set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end of it shall speak and not lie. Mm. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Amen. We are a faith-based oh, ministry. Yes, yes, yes. Everything that we talk about that will unfold don't have a regular plan. That's right. Come it has on. a spiritual one. That's right. Uh, we're just going to see God do some God stuff. The plain and simple vision for our ministry, God leads and we follow. Yeah. God provide and we do the work. Mm -hmm. The vision is plain. It is simple. It is uh, for salvation, for yeah. healing, for betterment of humanity. It is, it is uh, practical Christian teaching yes. for successful Christian living. 
We're going to teach people how to live a successful Christian life mm -hmm. without choking restrictions, without the thing that causes us to look so blasé, yeah. dull. It's hard, it's hard, hard to get somebody who have never settled down to settle down uh -huh. and do nothing for the rest of their life. Man, it's like putting a bucking bronco with spurs under the salad, uh, uh, saddle and irritation in a tight, tight spot and a rider on its back. They're going to tell some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to learn how to be more outgoing, more beneficial. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. We're not running streets. No, we're not doing that. But we're going to have activities, we're going to do things, and we're going to always, every, all the time, be God-centered, deliver, right. delivering-centered, right. mm -hmm. uh, uh, walking and teaching people good behavior. Mm -hmm. You can't teach good behavior if your behavior is not good. Sir, sir, preach that. You cannot be an example mm. if you're struggling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And be honest, because... I have a lot of things I can do and need to be doing. Judging your character is not one of them. Mm. Come on, Pastor. Oh, that's good. You I need to judge your character. You yes. need to know. If I come to you, one of the leadership team come to you, or uh, an auxiliary leader come to you, or someone comes to you and approach you and asks you to do something, and um, you know that you're not able to do it, they say, and we're going to always be respectful and not get in your business because we're giving people time to be delivered. Come on. Time to be set free, time to overcome, Amen. time to reach that place where God would deal. Because every person on the ground crying is not a new saint. That's right. That's real. That's right. Sometimes it's just that time God really got hold to somebody who needed to be uh, gotten a hold to. Amen. You know how the old people say, boy, if I put my hands on you. Mm. See, God is about to put his hands on some of us. Well, come on, sir. And put us in a good place. A good place. That's for me. So, for me too. if I'm going to take um, a, 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 a young, or just a, take a group of Christians to the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip factory, mm. cookie factory, <laughs> next to the Boyd's milk factory. Help Jesus. And they don't want nobody to eat cookies and drink milk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn that assignment down. You are, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna turn the assignment yes, down. Yes. Cause you know why? Cause why nobody else is eating cookies and drinking milk? Y'all see me, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Milk chocolate melting, gonna hit my nostrils. Help, help Jesus. And I'm smelling that gluten. Yes, I want the, I don't need to be gluten free. <laughs> Bring the gluten in the cookie. You hear me? Two percent milk. Oh God. And you know, when you go to factories, they let you sample stuff. Here, yeah, sample. Uh, oh, we good. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna be good. No, you're best in it. I'm gonna be struggling so hard. <laughs> They gonna say, "Ooh, did that the pastor yes, shaking and, and tear? And is that cry? I swear, that's both." <laughs> hey, listen, Why? know yourself. That's real. Know where you at. That's oh. so good. That's it. I don't need to be judged. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm trying to find somebody. Mm -hmm. did, did you hear that statement? I'm trying to find somebody who could take these people on this tour. Uh, do I have any volunteers? Okay, right. that's how it started. But then you know, when there's no volunteers, we start going to ask people, are you available to do this? Yeah. Hey, to say, at this time, I don't think that'd be the best for me to do. That's right. right. That's and I'm going to leave it right there. Yeah. You know you. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Hey, know you, bro. Know you. Know you, sis. That's, that's what I'm talking good. about. Good job. Hit fist bump the hey. hey. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, know where you can go and what you can't do. Amen. And he said, well, Pastor, you love chocolate chip cookies. I do. But I'm not going to a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, Chanel. I'm not going to uh, a... <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to a, a, a sugar cookie factory. 
<laughs> Do you understand? I'm not going to an apple pie factory. <laughs> no, I'm not going to none of them things. Unless I'm ready to sample and taste with everybody in the open. Yeah. And see, look, if you're doing stuff in the dark, you're uh, not willing to do in the open and let everybody see you do it, then you can't you can't lead that tour. That's a good teaching. That's a good teaching. Come on. Nobody's going to judge you. This is a no-judge zone. Amen, Pastor. This is a no-judge zone. Lord, I thank you. The vision is where people can come and feel safe and honestly be themselves. Mm -hmm. We all need to adopt the apes. Mind your business. That's right. Hey, that's not cussing. That's not cussing. That's right. That's not putting, that's, that's telling you to do something you need to be doing. Huh? That's not disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. All right, all right, all right. When it's done in love. Yeah. And the only time that, psst, mind your business, is when somebody's judging somebody. Yes, yeah, mm. good. When somebody's telling, I don't think they need to, I, I, well, first of all, you, you started off wrong. You started with that demon. Mm. I thought we were supposed to get rid of that. Mm. Mm. And, oh, the hunt and, and it's, 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 it's hmm cousin. Yeah. <laughs> And you know when you, you, you feel it like you're not going to say nothing good? That's good, Pastor. And it gets stuck right there? Go on, drink some water, swallow it out. <laughs> That's good. That's good teaching. Help the house. You got to be healthy. Because, because some of us have some family members. And some of us have some close family members. Some of us have people. Look, and JCF, I'm going to tell you, you do a great job at, 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 uh, in inviting people. Yeah. There's a few of you that struggle in the paint, but don't, don't worry. I'm coming with my brush. <laughs> We're going to shorten the paint and we can get the paint right. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. And, and, and look, look, I'm not being hateful. First of all, if you know you do it, please prepare. Oh, Pastor, come come talk to me, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to hate that call. Sometime I call uh, Elder Nelson, and he sees, he, tell me, he sees my name on the phone, and he say, oh, should I answer? <laughs> but he won't. And I do something. Why well, go through all that rigmarole? Because just answer the phone, I'm going to tell you what I want. <laughs> I might not want nothing. I might just be checking on you. Listen, don't miss your blessing now. So, Absolutely. our vision, the vision for this ministry is that we're going to do things a little different. That's good. We're going to do things God, the godly way. Right. We're going to do things because God needs people mm -hmm. who have vision. And our vision is simply plain getting man's out of the hand of the devil, right. out of the hand of the enemy. Now, do we need to uh, tell that plan to everybody? No. Do we need to express to people when you come? Oh, I'm so glad you're here because we're going to snatch you out the hand of the devil. Oh, First my. of all, Teach wisdom. hey, 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 shh, 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 Teach wisdom. Shh, shh, shh. You, you remember that old uh, that church song? Hush. Mm -hmm. And then I like to tell them, uh, I, I be playing with my wife sometime, and I say, hush, when she gets smart with me. I say, hush, I don't get smart. nobody's calling your name. <laughs> yeah, nobody's talking to you right now. Come on. Deliverance need to happen in our walls, in the ministry. And we need to set a place where people can get delivered from. And when we do that, please, all them little towns I name and cities we name, People will want to join in. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. They want to join. They want to adopt. They want to go into. They, they, they'll say, "Hey, I'm willing to become and do what you're doing because you're doing something new. You're doing something the way. Hey, we're only trying to do it what God do. It's not. It's nothing. We don't have no um uh uh uh, uh when, when when something's yours. What they call it when you have blueprint. not the blueprint, but it belongs to you. Uh, can't think of the word patent. We don't have no patent on it. All right. This is God giving us free free to everybody mm -hmm. and and as we make it plain plain and simple not difficult uh, new saints may not need to go to the to the um, hermeneutic <laughs> biblical class they just need to go to hear the gospels being teached Amen. talk about Jesus and his life uh, number three we're gonna go to Hebrews because after you make it plain that must be an example all right right as we're building this church, we need to know where it is. Uh -huh. And I'm not talking about location. Right. I'm talking about spiritually. That's where right. is the ministry? Right. What can the ministry really do? Can we really do this? And sometimes, because we're walking by faith, we need to know where our faith is. Yeah. 
Sometimes you can put people in a place where their faith can't get them out. Oh, that's good teaching. Mm. Put them in a place where their faith is overloaded. There's a, a comedian. <clears throat> so I, I really never listened to uh, any of his, like a whole thing of his. But I heard him make this short statement. And he was talking about as he was getting popular and more famous, he, more other famous people, uh, wanted to be around him. And he started hanging around. He's like basketball. His name is uh, Kevin Hart. And uh, <clears throat> he was talking about uh, being friends with, you know, NBA players. You know, man, they, got, they make a lot of money. <laughs> and so he wasn't making that kind of money. And he was saying that <laughs> his money was not, not like NBA money. Mm -hmm. Hey, most people's faith is not going to be where mine is. That's right. That's good. Uh, I'm called to walk by faith and do things. So I understand when I turn to people and there's not many people around me. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, this faith vision will stress you out. It'll yes. keep you up at night. Yes, sir. And my wife will tell you, I sleep like a baby. Mm -hmm. She'll tell you, I was telling her something uh, just recently <laughs> and fell asleep in the midst of telling it. Yes, sir. Why? Because I go to sleep when it's time to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm not worrying up. I'm not stressing out by God's part. Come on. And some people are worried. Oh, right. Pastor, what if they're they, they, they going to think that we're lying? They're going to think that blah, blah, blah. No, they don't think nothing. There's no way they can be thinking that when we're telling them God's going to do it. Yeah. Because I don't know how. All right, I declare it. That's a declare. I might need to get a shirt. I don't know how. All right. I know who. JCF Ministries. Yeah, yeah. Listen here in Hebrews. You know, this is the, the, the chapter. They call it the Hall of Faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. L listen, we're in Hebrews chapter 11, we're going to read verse uh, 8 through 10. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive mm -hmm. for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Mm -hmm. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was, excuse me, past age. Amen. Abraham, all of that. See, there's a whole group of people they call nomads. Yeah. All of that is a misunderstanding. <laughs> it is. Because nobody understood this about Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham talked to God. And while he was talking to God, God gave him metaphors and gave him literal. Yeah. He didn't, uh, he, he, he didn't tell him. The difference between the two. Mm -hmm. So Abraham took it all literal. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with people with faith, yes, it is literal. And God told him, Abraham, I'm going to build a new city. There's going to be a new Jerusalem. See, God told Abraham some things that Abraham may never share with nobody mm -hmm. because this proves that new Jerusalem was talked to talked about to Abraham. Yeah. Come on. And because Abraham and he and apparently he left it. And he left it in an example because we know about it and it's written in the That's New right. Testament right. and not in the Old. That's right. That Abraham did not buy a house until he was going to buy a house in the city that God made. Yeah. yeah. That God laid the foundations mm -hmm. for. Now, in actuality, he could have lived anywhere on the earth because God laid the foundation for the earth. Yeah. <laughs> but he was looking for a specific city. Mm -hmm. He was looking for the one that is uh, described in the book of Revelation. He was looking for that city that God made and that God said it was going to be on the earth. He didn't understand it was not coming right now. Yeah. Just as well as Eve didn't understand that the deliverer was not going to be Cain. Mm -hmm. the, sometimes when dealing with people with faith, people will misunderstand you because you're taking it literal. And yes, you should if God is giving you something that is going to manifest. Right. Because when he told him that you're going to be a father of many nations, uh, Abraham was like, wow, how's that going to happen? But by the time he pulled up his feet at 175, Abraham really understood it. Yes. 
not just because he had Ishmael or Isaac, but because, man, he had Ishmael, Isaac, and six other boys. Mm -hmm. He had eight sons. Abraham knew that God was going to keep his word, so he never bought a house. He yeah. never settled down. He constantly walked around and around and around. So the, 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 the term nomad was given to him and his descendants because they think that these people are just walking around. Mm -hmm. They're walking around because they're waiting for the city to come down from heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, and they don't want, they, and maybe, they, maybe they didn't bought no house because they didn't want the city to land because when they land, it's going to land where it lands. Right. <laughs> so these people literally are looking for God. I am looking for God to build this ministry. You should be looking for God to build this ministry. And this ministry, I'm paying you a picture of right now. Now, we, we, we understand the foundation. We understand the walls. We understand the roof. Uh, we're going to get into some intricate working. But before we get into the intricate working, we got to get the stuff to move in to get the intricate working done. Mm -hmm. And that's going to take faith. Mm -hmm. It's going to take faith because why? Uh, deliverance is not seen. It's only manifest after the seed is planted. Uh -huh. Come on. Mm -hmm. Healing. It's not something we sell in a bottle. It's not nothing people's going to take a spoon of. Uh, it's something God is going to do, and you're going to get the report from the person who told you you were sick. Right. Now they're going to say you're not sick. Uh, faith will, will cause us to uh, have unbelievable moves of God that cannot be explained. Faith is not explainable, right. but it is obtainable. Come on, come on. Faith is something that can grow to become something greater than what it started out. Mm -hmm. Faith is like a muscle That's that right. can be increased. It's That's like right. a bank account Come on. that can grow. Huh? It, it is like the, uh, your, your worth. You could be worth nothing today and millions tomorrow. Right. You could be worth nothing today and billions in four years. Come on. How many people have we had as the richest man in the world in the last five years? But the, 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 the 10 to 12 before that, it never changed. That's it right. was always the same person. Mm -hmm. But when technology grew and things and the desires of people have grown, then now that the person that used to be on top isn't on top anymore. And the people that have been on top have changed. Yes. Multiple times in over the last five years. We are going to set an example so God can have a place where he could come and people can come and they can experience. Right.